Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm just going to go through um, how I fixed uh, a problem with my GNS3. So I upgraded my Windows to Windows 10 from 8.1 and I also upgraded my GNS3 to 1.3.10 and um, once I did that I found a little problem with connecting to the host devices. Um, so if you had a, 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 a my machine I've got a virtual box with loads of um, uh, different operating systems and I had a, a like a Windows XP box running here uh, and this one if you look at the network connections um, it was set up as a host only adapter and it's connected to virtual adapter 3 um, and what I found oops cancel that uh, what, what I found was that when I was trying to connect um, my uh, GNS3 network to the host device um, so if you get a connection go to there and c try and connect that to the that's the adapter it's connected to I was getting this funny server error message um, and it wouldn't allow me to connect to that host at all um, and I found a way how to fix this um, so if you um, what you need to do is make a couple of changes so the first thing to do is, is to shut down your your virtual box make sure that's switched off let that switch off um, and then the next thing you need to do is to go into edit go into preferences and then go to virtual box so from here if you click on new it automatically detects your virtual boxes um, so I've got one two three four operating systems there so let's let's say we're trying to connect to XP one so you click on that and you click on finish so it puts that in there for you um, one, before you move on you just need to make a little change to the network settings right so if you go to edit click on network and then you need to make sure that it's connecting to the correct interface so my my um, uh, Windows XP actually connects to the PC net for some reason it decided to uh, connect to the to the, the desktop one for some reason but but my my actual one connection is to the PC net so click on that say OK um, apply and say OK what that actually does now is is if you look at the, the host settings it, it creates that Windows XP for you so you bring that across and if you get rid of this one now you don't need to use that anymore um, so bring that across and then you can now connect that up there to that Ethernet zero so bef before you make any more changes there's a there's another little thing you need to do is on your on your uh, virtual box if you open up your virtual box manager and it changes settings on here right you get to network uh, what you need to do is change that to not attached okay um, click on advanced make sure it's picked the correct um, adapter type uh, make sure the cable is connected as well so you click OK make sure you say it's not attached now you mustn't start your um, your virtual box operating system at all you just leave that as it is right and lower that down what you need to do is you actually start the from from here from GNS3 so if you do a right click and then click start or you can click the green button what that actually does it it opens up your virtual box there you go so it's 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 automatically bringing up your virtual box and it starts up your virtual machine for you without you having to do anything um, so, so that's now connected if you if you look at what it does as well if you look at the um, network settings uh, oops sorry network settings it see we, we actually said not attached but now it's automatically filled that in for you um, and then so you don't have to do anything so basically click OK to that um, so if you look at the, the network settings now if we put some IP addresses I think I have one already on this um, properties that's 192.168.1.3 okay so so that's fired up automatically so if we go to that and then if I go to my router as well um, let's just so put an IP address on here as well now no shot on that Okay, so that's up and running, so we should now be able to ping our virtual box. Yep, there we go, so that's successful. So just make sure you can do it from both ways. working as well perfectly so that's how you do it so what, what you now need to do is, is once once you've got that working and you want you add additional virtual box devices you just go into edit preferences go to your virtual box click on new 
um, and then so it finds your other ones already for you click finish make sure you edit your settings and check your network connection so mine net xp2 is also connected to that interface uh, click on new get the rest of them in so my vista and click on new and then the windows 7 so that's all my all my virtual box operating systems connected on there um, make sure you edit your network settings click on apply say ok now if you look on there see it's got all your virtual box operating systems on there and you can drag them in and then you can connect them up no problems but just you need to make sure that your virtual box setting is uh, the, the network settings are correct and um, you need to make sure that um, when you check settings on here network that it's always set up as not attached and then click on that make sure the cable's connected that's basically it i hope you found that useful so it fixed my problems um as i said um thank you very much for listening thanks bye